Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Warhammer Dragon, and it's time to try hard. I haven't really tried hard at it in quite a while, and uh, why not just really do it with like what is, in my opinion, the best one versus one deck, or at the very least, my best one versus one deck, which is Entente Mech. Not necessarily in this exact build, but I am of the opinion that Entente Mech is the strongest deck in a one versus one. Um, mech in general is just ridiculously strong. The game is already all about infantry. Um, mech gets both extra slots and extra veterancy. You usually, at least for the strong decks, let's say put it that way, don't lose that much in terms of, in terms of options. Um, Anton still has some great IFVs, some great tanks. Basically, all the other tabs are still pretty good. Uh, of course, you lose like the Beehole or the Plum and you lose a unit here or there, this is really good. But a lot of the core units are still there. The only thing that this deck in my eyes lacks compared to some other mech decks is a really heavy IFE. Marder 2, a CV90, an SCRF90. But that is honestly more than made up for by the fact that the rest of the units are just so, so strong. Maybe like a mid-tier radar AA, like a Roland or a Tor, but at that point, in my opinion, you're really getting down into the very fine details. Um, it is not flawless, no, none of the decks really are, but it is incredibly strong, to say the least. Either way, I shall see you in a second, once you find a ranked game. Alright, I don't know who that is. But, what I can say, we got a pretty good map. I mean, <laughs> none of the maps are really bad for a strong mech deck, but some are less good than others. Um, generally, I wouldn't say that out of all the mech decks, that this is a map that prefers hell in a very small place. I think Scandi mech or the like are even stronger than that. I think Plunging is more or less kind of like the ideal map for this deck. Highway as well. It really prefers like these short mid-range engagements, in my opinion, because that's also where you can make the best use out of the M84s, in in my eyes at least. Or maybe it's just my playstyle. In any case, um, who knows, we might get heal rushed. How do we like to do this? I really like this kind of push here and I think it's really underutilized. So let's see if we can make it happen. M84A ends, we also got some recon. M84A. We would like to get into this town as well. Get a man pad. GMs. Rotary for town fighting. Yatch. Is Yatch also like a really strong tank? Um, let's also get a Recon spot hopefully for a forest there. For assaulting into here. Let's get some prams because they will also help if you know a bunch of stuff is coming down there, then I can help in that area. Royal Terror are gonna be really good. Because they're also fast and they're strong, so I can cross forest and into the town more quickly. Stalos Nisi for some meat shielding. Get a Coop M4 for some anti-plane AA. Another Shilo. Second CV. Um. Let's get an HT40. Or, you know what, let's get an L17K early. You know, if we go up against something like a Tiger, it's obviously really, really strong as well. Motor at the start shouldn't be necessary. Um rush wouldn't be ideal, but oh well. Oh well, at least they wrote something. Oh, I unloaded the wrong unit. Place you there for now. You in there, you in here. You pretty aggressively in there. Man put in here, you stay there, loaded in though. 
And it's more or less all the units. 17. It's fast move we have for now. Also get like a... Like that there. Touch. Oh. Mech. Yep, that's mech. Touch. DGD also pretty good mech deck. Oh wow. Oh, I didn't even hit a single missile. That's... You don't see that very often. Doesn't look like there's a push happening on this part of the map. If you shift unload and then attack me from there. Get one of the drugs in there, like down here. Oh, you might be dead. I was a bit too aggressive with that. Oh, well. But maybe get really lucky. Oh, well, first of all, we got lucky in terms, in terms of not dying. Oh, oh, oh. I'd like to say it was bait on purpose, but... Um, oh, that's just... It's uh, very fortunate for us. Gems got in there. It, I mean, it, it really... Wait, what? Oh, come on! <laughs> I mean, I feel bad, but... <laughs> I guess it's just very demoralizing. Or, like I just said, demoralizing. Well, either way, I should see you in a second for another game. Alright, future harassment here, and before we head into the next game, I actually have to edit something in, a small addendum to the game that I just played, where obviously our opponent just surrendered. You might have kept, uh, caught that in the kill list, or maybe even caught in the last few seconds a zone uncapping. The last list of our opponent was 240 points, or the last count rather. Our kill count was 140. It's a hundred point difference. I'm sure you can count one and one together and or sub subtract 140 from 240 to get uh, what I'm getting at. Um, yeah, let's just briefly watch it because I think uh, it speaks for itself, right? There's my 17k doing shenanigans. There's a KWS coming in and obviously about to get killed. Once hit Twice, there you can see the the wreck, right? The wreck in, in a nice, nice little angle, and uh, I think it's kind of obvious what's gonna happen. But I'm gonna just let it play out. There it is, flying. Yep. It's honestly pretty funny. You may remember a video from, yeah, seven years ago, but no, more than seven years. I think it's titled uh, Why Israel is the Best Tank in the Game or something like that. If I remember correctly, I also start from this side. I play as Israel and I open with a Baz. Turns out I'm getting Hilo rushed, but my Baz gets killed by the unloaded FJB in the base from the Heinz that are Hilo rushing me. Gets killed and crashes on my opponent's only CV, causing me to win, right? Very reminiscent of that. Go watch it if you haven't, even though I just spoiled it. But, um, yeah, that uh, very unfortunate little incident is what well, actually caused our opponent to uh, surrender there. Um, yeah. <laughs> unfortunate. That's what you get for not putting your infantry CV into the town for the damage reduction and the dodging and stuff. No, but, yeah, who could have seen him coming? It's very unfortunate. It sucks to be him. It sucks to be them. And, um, yeah, enjoy the next game. Game two. Let's see. I mean, we got a colonel, a lieutenant colonel this time. Oh, let's see how this goes. Better, man. 
arguably. It, it really depends on the matchup. I feel like on Plunging Valley, if you're not playing a mech deck, you have a better chance than on Hell, if you're not playing a mech deck. However, if I was going up against a mech deck, which I was last time, I'd rather have Plunging Valley. It's, if that makes any sense to you. Okay. Hello. I want to start with this. Why? Well, I'm gonna hover it here and shoot stuff that might try to rush down there because it's wheel. Assuming there's wheel stuff rushing down there, but yeah. Uh, what helps is that it's relatively safe from AA, as the AA has to really get into line of sight and range of a helicopter to shoot at it. Um. I don't think I want to rush center. I feel like non mech decks are better at that. So let's do the boring play because honest. Okay, okay, hold on. Whew. Uh, all right then. Could be healer rush. Gotta prepare for that as much as we can at least. We actually do that by spamming a lot more uh, autocannon IFEs. Because sometimes they're actually better against the uh, healer rushes than AA. To an extent at least. You still need some AA for damage, but... Um... And some proletary as well for some inter ground forces there. Then... Let's start with the manfit in our base as well. Good luck of fun, I guess. It's been a while that I've been heal rushed. Let's unload the manfit in there. Let's place it there, but not unload you just yet. Oh, please drive this way. So that's an SN escort. That's a plane. Certainly some helicopters. There's some of those in there. It's a hit, not a crit, though. Not, uh, not a kill, I should say. Uh, let's place this agent over there. Move you back, so you're actually protecting this V better. Are you amphibious? You are, okay. I always forget. It's incredibly laggy. Uh, let's get an L-17. Wouldn't be surprised if there's a helicopter sneaking about. Somewhere. That's a lot of stuff. Let's place unit the town there. Get the shield back, get this m 4 so... Get an HD40 with those guys. He's over there as well. Get an. Saba. Safety. This is just DGZ by the looks of it. Uh, 
Careful, there's a gap hurt as well there. Get these prams in there. Get some stuff in there. I tried to bomb that. Don't rip him. It's really fucking laggy. Holy moly. Only four, you don't see that very often. Jesus Christ. This is like Moto? No, we spotted Orca Knifeys. It has to be Unspec. Can't be Mac because, you know, stuff like uh, Tiger is not in Lance. It's not in the. Uh, non moto spec or airborne Got some water. Got some waters. Oh yeah, they're getting caught out in the open there. Very nice. These guys didn't, but that's okay. It is incredibly laggy. Holy smokes. Now I could have sworn Oh my! Somebody invested a lot into AA, Jesus. Oh, this is... Oh, that was lucky. Somehow that tiger lost line of sight. And it's a lot of AA, alright. That explains why the ground push, as aggressive as it was, didn't really have much going for it. Oh wow, you missed both. Yeah, there's a Gephardt, he's already spotted them, but I, I had no idea there were hogs there as well. That's a double hit. I hit that thing once at least. Uh, you got killed by the... or you got damaged by those helicopters. Oh my god, a real voice reveal. <clears throat> UH-14s, those carry uh, special forces. Special forces. I don't know why I said it like that. Alright, let's see if they're empty or not. Wow, I didn't... I don't even know how I lost line of sight there. Oh, I think they were not empty. Oh, look at that. I think the XP might go up further. I oh, know they're already, they're already dead because they're not... Oh no. Someone's very aggressive with their uh, peace rhymes, man. Let's get a cup. That's an anti gem. How did you get, like. So, uh. Mission damage. What happened over there? Did you just kill something? You killed something. Left the server over there. Well, interesting place. Uh, no, just one in four is really the heaviest ground unit we've seen thus far, I think. Do we get into the bush? There are some, I presume, KCTR in there. 
And they, they definitely will be able to spot the M84 again. Those are going to be... Both ripping, if I had to guess. You have one, you have one side armor. It's too late. No, no, no. It's mighty aggressive. Those so stealth gripping. Like a triple cycle proletarian. Bomber here. Yep, and that's why I placed that healer there. So did you still huge body in smite already have been empty? I guess I over uh, est uh, overestimated. No, underestimated, I guess, the amount of experience those empty UH-14s would give. But that means I can use the 84 and hopefully a bit more aggressive in there. Oh, that's, that's a nice angle there. Oh, really? Should have tried to turn front armor. At least we killed it. We also killed the tiger. Overall, probably a good trade because it made him. Oh no. Go invisible, Sava. Go invisible. Oh. Who's faster? Please! Ah, oh, it's so unfortunate. Really now? Really now? Well, at least I killed that as well. That's both of the. Uh, both peace pheasants. Sorry, peace friends dead. That's some bull crap. I also base for military, not 90s. Come on. That's 17. Luckily, 1 and 4 are pretty horribly armored, so even basic loss are actually gonna damage them. If they hit, of course. Probably actually worth it to reduce the amount of damage they can do. And there could still be like an OCU coming. I don't know why I thought this was a helicopter. I was like, why is Mashilo not shooting? Hmm, what could it be? Could it be that the Gabbard is not a freaking helicopter? Well, at the very least, that's the peace rinds gone. That's, a, that's the current or the previous tiger gone. Uh, please get a little line of sight of the Gabbard before you shoot there. Oh, really now? You still have line of sight? Oh, that's... <laughs> that's just mean. You know, for good measure, let's just get another one. What an interesting place, though. So. Uh, I honestly am a bit annoyed at this 84 AM died because, I'll be honest, I was too lazy to give it a reverse order, re like, reverse order to turn it around towards the peace run. Might have not even been fast enough either way, but I didn't even bother trying because, honestly, out of laziness. <laughs> be fully honest. Uh, just, you know, because I don't trust this player. Get like a hero over there. Get that Gabbard killed. We have line of sight from up here in a way. Like from a certain angle. Uh, let's get. You want to get another. Let's get some drooks around. You're still not moving up.
That's a heavier tank. Oh, there's two or four behind there. <laughs> oh, don't shoot fucking there. Well, I need to give you some ammo. Actually, no, I will need the supplies for something else. Oh, the guy about the thing's actually spotting you? Not the Gepard, of course, the Recanning. Base Proletary again. Load. Oh, I didn't realize that your weapons turned on. That's smart. Is the Rican gone? Oh, it's not gone. What the heck? Oh, it's gone. Did we kill the... What did we kill then? That's another leopard one, huh? Oh, there's a 2 4 Alright. That's a 2 4 dead. I'm still like, what an odd playstyle. I wonder how weak they are over there. What is supply run with a hair? I see what happens. Oh, there's that fucker again. Oh, what the fuck? I should survive a hunt. Oh no. Oh no. Uh <gasps> still gotcha bitch. What a clown fiesta of the game. What the hell man? You're the only way to to <laughs> the only way to describe this. Why are you like so deep in the forest there? I'm pretty sure spotted something there. Some way transport. Yeah, sure, I'll load it there. Is you in here? Random bull should go. Well, that's a transport. Probably like in there or in there. That's uh, two transports. Also some infantry squads. That's a fob. Is that oh there's a leper severe? Oh good. At least that's that's a that's a good habit. Can't be mad at someone actually using a uh, armored based uh armored CVs as a base defense and not Jeep CVs. Place you in there. I'm still just. <laughs> I know I keep repeating myself, but this is such an odd play style. Like, why would you just push up there? That's not an escort. 
as Leopard 2. Good luck spotting me with your poor optics. Oh no 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 no! <laughs> Please do waste your rocket pods on this 84 ans front armor. Be my guest. Oh, that's where they are. Careful, let's get another one here for defensive purposes. I thought I didn't realize I could. I was not. Oh no, no, you're supposed to go in there. Oh, did I forget to unload you? I'm smart. Some drugs in there. It also not remember a bit faster than I anticipated. I think I'm just in time with this. HRT. Yeah, just barely before they managed to get into the town. Holy, it was close. And that's the GG. It was so odd. The the lag didn't help either. Holy. I didn't play it particularly well, but. So aggressive towards mid and up the plateau. If I had been a better player and actually gotten like Proletary 90 earlier and had, had them in position, then would have been like. I don't know why you would be so aggressive up there. I don't think that's the right decision. Way too easy to get punished there. Especially when they started to like fast move down with their canning and into a 4 and such. I don't get it. Well, either way, that's me uh, trying a bit. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, maybe next time I will do this, you know, thinned down version of this, where I have to build the same deck, but can't reuse the same units. For coalitions or nations, I'm probably gonna get rid of the rule that forbids me from taking transports, because when you're when talking about five basic transports, it doesn't really make much sense, because for a lot of units, that's just a, a ways to get to the front line. You don't really buy, I don't know, shilos or drugs for their five-pointer, right? But either way, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will hopefully see you in the next one. Bye-bye.